Defensively, we got to be better. Uh, we have to come out with a, a defensive mindset, with physicality, but we also got to pay attention to the game plan. Um, but, you know, it's the NBA guys score points, but for us, we got to have a better um, better start to games, I feel like. How do you think Nick did feeling in 3-1 Friday? I thought he did great. I think I've always said, you know, Nick's going to be a great player. He um, he wants to learn, which is which is which is great. And um, you know, he's not afraid when he's out there, so that's cool to see. It's the first time you've seen this backcourt with Rubio and Booker. Um, what kind of problems does it present for you guys? Um, you know, Ricky's a great facilitator. Um, he, you know, he made a couple of his first shots early on. Us got into a rhythm. Um, you know, Devin is. Devin, you know what I mean? He can score the basketball on pretty much all three levels of the court. So um, and when he when he's aggressive, they're, they're a, a great team. To be successful, what mentality does the group need to have as a team in opening quarters? Uh, like, I, like we said, defensive mindset. we got to come out and establish uh, you know, our physicality and our will on the defensive end. Um, we, like I said, we got to play attention to the game plan. Um, but, you know, teams are going to score, um, but we just have to limit the easy baskets and, you know, mental error baskets that we have. When they, when they got some of those easy baskets early on in the game, I mean, did that kind of shake you guys out of what you were trying no, to do defense? I mean, teams are going to come and, and jump on you early. That's just the way the league goes at times. You know, you could play great defense and teams are still going to hit tough shots. Um, your defense may break down at the end, but we got to be able to sustain that for 24 seconds and then get a rebound at the end. But, um, you know, we did it in spurts, but the great teams do it throughout. You got a 20-point lead to two, yeah. and then it went back to 18 at halftime. How demoralizing is that? The I mean, it sucks. It sucks um, because, you know, we did all that work to, to come back. But like I said before, we came out with a they, – they came out and jumped on us. So if you're playing catch-up the entire time, it's, 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 it's kind of tough. But, you know, I was proud of the way we responded. We didn't – I don't think we gave up. We, we, we kept fighting. But, you know, they're a good team. They made a lot of tough shots tonight. So I know the defense is won, but with a talent, another talented team coming up Tuesday in, in Utah, what, what's one thing or two that you feel like the team needs to pick up or clean up heading into that one? We just have to have great starts. We gotta um, come out and when, whenever you know, bench guys come in the game, we gotta be able to, you know, just pick up where the starters left off. There's gonna be games where you know the, the bench guys are gonna play great, where starters are going to play great, but we all feed off of each other and we all need each other to to make this thing go. Last thing for me, how big of a challenge is defensive communication when you're on the road? It's tough. I mean, you know, you got 20,000 people screaming, but like I said, we're professionals. We got to be able to block that out and, and talk. And it's not just one guy talking. It's not just the bigs talking. It's all five. We got to be connected and, you know, just communicate.